Trinity 7 is just one of those shows that some will enjoy while others don't. Whether it be because of the unrealistic aspect of Harum or the perverted protagonist, there probably exists a lot of reasons. So today, I'm going to be sharing my honest opinion about Trinity 7 and share it to you all whether I enjoyed it or not. But before we begin, let's discuss a little bit about the synopsis of the story. So Trinity 7 is a 12 episode anime series aired in the fall of 2014. It's certainly not a new anime, but the artwork still serves its justice. The series is essentially about our main character, Arata Kasuga, who activated a breakdown phenomenon which is basically an emergency event in this show's world. During the event, he loses his beloved cousin which creates this desire for our protagonist to both save the world and bring his cousin back by attending a magic school. From there, he goes on an adventure with a group of magic owning girls called the Trinity Seven. The Trinity Seven are essentially girls who've mastered their archives of magic called a Tema. In short, it means they're beings of a lot of power. So already you can tell, this is a fictional story about fictional characters doing unrealistic things. So, do I like this show or not? The answer to that would be yes, I do like the show. But why? Let me explain. When it comes to watching any films or shows, I tend to really put my focus on the main character. His or her personality, actions, and thoughts help encourage me to either continue to watch the film or to just not do so. One primary reason is because of annoyance. When the main character lacks common sense or logic, for some reason it really annoys me and it bugs me. To me, that character setting makes the show less progressive and ultimately ends up not showing the character development that I've been wanting since the beginning of the show. That's a huge reason as to why I drop tons of shows with dislikable protagonists. However, Trinity 7 definitely does this justice. Arata Kasuga is not only very honest, but is extremely straightforward. When it comes to showing his desires and wants, he doesn't hide the fact nor does he lie. He literally has zero to no embarrassment and shares all that he wants to both the audience and the characters within the story. Conversely, to many, this may actually seem immature and very boy-like, I guess, but I felt that this brought more attention to the character and helped to define who Arata Kasuga was without having to match too many puzzles. I think something that really stood out to me was the likability of each and every character shown throughout the storyline. For the length of the total anime series to be aired, I thought there was sufficient enough character development that helped me feel attached to every single character that was shown. We got to learn a little bit about the stories of some, while also somewhat having a sense of connection with the others. Since Trinity 7 contained nearly 8 protagonists, it was surprising that I ended the show whilst knowing a little bit about each of the 8 characters and feeling somewhat satisfied to know about each one of them and who they essentially were. It seemed like the incredible mix of characters ended up functioning very well and efficiently together whilst also preventing any redundancy throughout it. As someone who is very sensitive on things that I decided to dedicate my time to watch, Trinity 7 definitely felt more lighthearted to watch than other shows. When a show gets a little bit too intense or feel that it's on an on purposely getting stretched for no reason, it brings more stress to me than enjoyment, which I find quite unfortunate for myself. However, this show was just enough to give me the subtle and stress-free laughs while also making me intrigued to continue the show throughout the series. This anime does the justice on providing light and funny humor which was just exactly what I was looking for. Lastly, I wanted to point out that this show does a great job keeping fiction to fiction. This might sound confusing, but to be it simply, there are cases sometimes when fictional stories try to tie in too much of something that's non-fictional, which ends up ruining the aspect of a series being fiction. However, Trinity 7 does a great job in continuing to emphasize the genre of fiction throughout the show, which made it more compelling to watch as I knew everything regarding the series was about fun and excitement. The idea of magic, temas, and phenomenon all rode well together and fit as they should have. This was truly satisfying to know, especially as each story arc tied together and essentially made sense. Now, for my last words, to me, Trinity 7 is a show that is bound to have very divided opinions when it comes to deciding on whether the show was good or bad. I personally thought that the show was funny and entertaining to watch, but there will definitely be people that may or may not disagree with. So with all due respect, I respect whichever opinion you have or had regarding the show. But again, if you haven't given Trinity 7 a try, but have been debating on whether to try it or not, I would highly recommend giving the first two episodes a try and then later deciding on continuing or not. You never know whether you'll enjoy by simply listening to an opinion like this review. Well anywho, comment down below your perspective on Trinity 7 and I will see you guys next time in a longer video.